Sorry, kid. I need a meat shield. As the sludge button captures Izuku, as he slowly fades in and out of consciousness, he can only think about his life. How he was diagnosed quirkless. His friends turned their backs on him. And despite how much he wishes he could be a hero, this is where his story is going to end. As he slowly embraces the cold embrace of death. Wake up, wake up, wake up. What? Who's that voice? Oh, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake What? Who are you? Your masters summon you. <laughs> Isuku's eyes open. Him seeming just glimmer of light as he reaches out to grab it in which he knows is he's free sludge villain he turns his head sees a it's splatter all throughout the walls and then he sees all might wait was that then he notices his skin's gone a pale gray. Him looking up at all my. Wait. Did you save me? N no. Actually, from what I could tell, you saved yourself. What? He's like, I, I was here within two minutes and I saw you exit the sludge villain. Wait, if you didn't, what was that light? But then as soon as he realizes, oh wait, this is All Might, he starts geeking out, go full on fanboy. Is yeah, All Might's like, okay, that's... Thank you, thank you. I, um, I, I realize that you may be a fan of mine. Is yeah, this is about the time when he jumps off and he's a good grabs onto his leg. But this time, when all my lands, he feels a lot weaker for some reason, and he just debuffs right there. Izuku wondering, wait, are you really All Might? It's like, yes, yeah, I, I am. It's just, whew, that that seemed to really take it out of me for some reason. Uh, either way, <clears throat> uh, what is it? Uh, I was wondering if I could be a hero without a quirk. Really? You don't have a quirk? Not that I know of. Hmm. Well, if you don't have one, you are extremely lucky. But I don't think you can be a hero without a quirk, kid. Sorry. Alright. Thanks. At least I got to hear from someone I look up to. Izuku just walks away. All my just wait, he's just wanting to talk to Izuku when he realizes. Wait, where's the bottle? As an explosion occurs, and just like in canon, Bob goes the one that gets captured. As Izuku is Lord just being overcome with guilt, feeling like, yeah, this is my fault. Kachan's gonna die. All Might's not as strong as he once was. But then he hears the voice awaken horsemen. 
And with that, this weird mist starts to envelop Izuku as he starts to walk calmly towards the sludge villain. All my looking at this in his skinny form, wondering, wait, what are you doing? As soon as the sludge villain sees Izuku, he is scared. Because he's like, you again. Everyone is surprised. Wait, what's he talking about? Does he know this kid? Are they acquaintances? Or he's, I mean, the kid looks a little bit villainous, but there's no way. Stay away from me. Please. I don't want to die. Again, everyone is surprised. Like, wait, what does he mean? Zuku just lifting up his hand and grabbing Bakugo, pulling him away from the sludge villain, giving all my the inspiration to do his smash and cause it to rain again. Everyone is shocked. They see what Izuku did, they just want to know how he did it. What is his quirk? As far as Izuku knows, he doesn't know what he just did either. He just wanted to save Kachan. That's it. In which, like, okay. So you, you don't really know what you did. No. That mist stuff. What, what was it? I don't know. What mist? Everyone's... He really doesn't... Huh. Kid, I think you possibly just awakened your quirk. What? No. Like, trust me, kid. That, that was... If anything, possibly a quirk awakening. The only thing is you can't seem to recall what you did. Hmm. Interesting. As he is about to get scolded, but before he does, All Might just steps in and says, Hey, 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 just... I just got here, and the fact that he had to save this kid while you were here, maybe we need to rethink how we pick and choose heroes. You guys might need to reissue for your licenses. What? You heard me. If this kid could do what you did even attempt to do. He wasn't scared at all. He wasn't as fearful as you pros. For some reason, he's the only one who had the balls to do something up until when I got here. And he already saved the kid. As they look at the sludge villain, He's cowering in fear. Just having Izuku be even more confused, like, what did I really do to him? He just gives up. As soon as he reforms, yeah, he just gives up. He doesn't care. But this does beg the question, what is this young boy's power? He doesn't know. The heroes sure as hell don't seem to know. So, what can you reclassify it as? Hmm. A mystery? All he's gonna have to do is really train it, learn what it is, and all such. But, first things first, he needs to head on home, doesn't he? Inko, upon seeing him, tackles him to uh, scare, seeing what was on the news, as well as scolding him for doing something so reckless when he was quirkless. Mizugu, being the way he is, is very apologetic, but the fact that, Mom, I think I have a quirk, she is very happy for him, but also very worried. Considering he doesn't even know what it truly is. 
So, when it goes to the quarter doctor, uh, it's safe to say he's having trouble really trying to activate it again. If anything, he just has to focus till he remembers something. The voice, these voices in his head. Tell me to awaken the horsemen. But which one am I? What did they really mean? What are you talking about, uh, Yamadoria? Uh huh? Oh, um, nothing. Just, uh, something that seemed to stand out to me. Alright. Well. As far as the court goes, it seems like as then this mist starts to emanate from Izuku again. It's like, uh, kid, what are you doing? Focusing. Yeah. Again, what are you doing? It's, as soon as it reveals the room, everyone starts feeling weaker. Inko, especially. Wondering, okay, uh, he's just gonna, please, please stop. What, what, what's going on? What's wrong? I feel drowsy. I, uh, I don't. As she just passes out, Izuku freaking out, and yeah, he goes in <laughs> to help Inko and the doctor. Both of them exhausted. Weakened, not knowing really what Izuku's work is, but huh? Then he sees this weird light emanating from them, and it's dimmed. But then, as soon as he sees, it's like yours is different from mine. What? Hmm. Let, let me. Him. Just outstretching his hand. As the mist appears again. The daughter about to stop him, but then Ingo says, Wait! What? As she starts feeling a hell of a lot better. So she's up and down again. She feels great. Doctors. Wait. What did you do? I just thought it would help. Hmm. Can you do it again? He's like doing the same to the doctor. Your lights. They shine brighter now. What do you mean, lights? I, I don't know, but... I can see these weird things. I don't understand it, but first they were dim, but I decided to try to help. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. And that's all? Yes. Hmm. Very well. For right now, um, we I don't know really what to classify your quirk is as, except for maybe, perhaps, an emitter. I would say a mutation type, considering your change in appearance. But, hmm, let's go with emitter for now. You, you guys can go home now. Which Izuku, he feels all sorts of happy about him finally getting his quirk technically diagnosed. But, uh, he still doesn't really know how to use it. I mean, he could be possibly a support hero, the way he helped Inko and the doctor, but... Does it really have much of a 
use it besides oh no mom is this a villain's quirk what is this a villain's quirk is that why I got no 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 not at all listen um, your quirk is just very unique yes it may be able to hurt people but look at me now you you helped me but I didn't know what I was doing before that just means you have to train Okay. Uh, all right. As we head to the jail cell, and it's the sludge villain freaking out. He is losing his damn mind. Scared. Wondering. We're all gonna die. That boy's gonna kill us all. What? What are you talking about? That kid. He's not normal. He's gonna kill everyone. Yeah. It sounds like you might just be a little bit of a sore loser that a kid spooked you. You don't believe me. I don't care. Just... Uh, that kid. He's not right. Something's not normal about him. What in the hell are you talking about? Believe me, don't believe me, but that kid is dangerous. I don't know why I saw. It might be the end of days. What did you see? As we cut to Izuku, fast asleep. Right now, he's just... Having a dream about becoming a hero until it shifts into something much more sinister. Dark. Destruction. Fire. Corpses. A whole mess of corpses as he's looking around trying to find out where is everyone? Where's Kachan? Where's All Might? Where's Mom? As he sees their graves. What happened here? What? Him not knowing where that voice is coming from, he starts running, noticing that he's taller. His hair is. It's starting to graze the back of his neck. As soon as he finds a mirror, he looks in it and sees that. Wait, where's my face? Checking it off and seeing. Who are you? What happened? What happened to me, brother? Huh? Turning his head and seeing war. Then, moving his head again, seeing fury. Telling Izuku to, to pretty much stop being a little bitch. This, come on, man, just leave him alone. You know how stressful it is to be a leader, right? Like, no, because the Char Council won't allow me to lead. Bunch of old fools. Hey, if it weren't for them, we probably wouldn't be who we are today. You're right. How come I couldn't be the leader though? You're impulsive. And rude as all hell. Wait, who are you guys? We're your siblings? Yeah. I'm War. Fury. Strife. And you are Death. Come on, bro. Don't, don't you... Remember your family? Don't be such an ass. <clears throat> Wait. What do you what do you mean by death? <laughs> 